So the project here is wiring a micro air, micro air easy start soft starter into a Houghton or a Rec Pro air conditioner, RV air conditioner. Um, this is the first time I've wired a Houghton. I've wired easy starts into other air conditioners. Uh, it's not complicated. The only difference between this and the other ones I've done is that the Houghton has two junction boxes, one on each side of the, of the air conditioner. Um, so you're gonna need to take the cover off, obviously disconnect power, shut up power to it. You're gonna need, need to open up both junction boxes. Uh, we're looking at the passenger side of the vehicle right now. The R, front of the RV is that way. Um, this box is pretty easy. There's only one thing you need to do in here. There's only one wire you need to access. Um, I would also take the cover off the terminals for your compressor. And the reason for that is so you can verify continuity between the brown, but the ends of the wires here and the wires we need to access in the boxes. So in this case, we're looking for the brown wire. It's plugged into a terminal labeled compressor or comp. So I pulled that off and I tested continuity between that and the brown wire connected to the compressor. Uh, when I verified it was the same wire, I then spliced in a 14 gauge jumper wire uh, and plugged it back into the terminal it was connected to labeled compressor. I came out of this box with that 14 gauge wire and ran it with the uh, factory wire harnesses. I just zip tied it to those harnesses to secure it. Let me reposition here while I dodge rafters in the shop. All right, so coming back over We've got that wire entering the box. So this is the jumper wire we just spliced into the brown wire in the other junction box. That wire gets connected to the black wire coming from the easy start harness. I just used a butt splice connector in this case. So that's one of the four wires down. The second project is to locate the start capacitor, which is this guy right here. Um, keep in mind, Capacitors can hold charges, electrical charges. So if you touch this and there's a charge there, you're gonna get a nasty shock. I'd recommend looking up how to discharge that so you're not, uh, you're not surprised. Anyway, once you've done that, locate the white wires going to the start capacitor. Uh, in my case, there were two white wires connected to the start capacitor. I needed to find the one that was going to the compressor. So again, that's why I pulled this cover off, I could locate the wire, I could pull those term, those wires off the start capacitor terminals and test them individually to determine which one was the start capacitor wire. When, once I did that, I took the white, those, the other white wire that didn't go to the compressor, I plugged that back into the start capacitor. The white wire that does go to the compressor, we now connect that to the brown wire going to the easy start. So coming out of the easy start harness, you got a brown wire. It's just a, a bare wire at the end. I crimped on a male spade connector because there wasn't a whole lot. Let me try to get the light here. There wasn't a whole lot of wire to work with for that white wire going to the compressor and it already had a female spade connector on it. So I figured, well, we'll just connect it to the brown wire by using a male spade connector. So that's how I connected that. Um, the terminal that you pulled that white wire off of now gets the white wire coming from the easy start. So find the easy start wire, plug that into the white wire you pulled off previously. Uh, easy start already crimped on a uh, female spade connector for this purpose. So that was easy. Uh, that covers three of our four wires. Our last wire then is the orange wire coming from the harness. And that's an easy one. They also uh, crimped on a female spade connector to that orange wire. So that wire gets connected to the other side of the start capacitor. Uh, on this com air conditioner, they had a red wire connected to that side, the, that side of the start capacitor. I located that. I found a, a, an empty terminal on that side of the capacitor and plug the orange wire in. You wanna be sure to leave that red wire plugged in as well. Don't unplug that. 
so once you've got that done, uh, that's the wiring for the unit itself. Uh, other things you might be <laughs> curious what I did is uh, obviously you've got to get the harness into the air or into the junction box. I did drill a hole through the side of the junction box and put a strain relief in to do that. Um, there is there are other components in this box, so just be aware of that when you're drilling in. I also removed this screw uh, to pull this box up a little bit so I could get a straight shot to drill into the side of the junction box. Uh, I didn't want to go through the top. There was room up here to do it, but for water intrusion reasons, I figured it was better to go through this, uh, through the side here. Um, as far as locating the Easy Start soft starter unit itself, I chose to put that up in the front here. Uh, there's just enough room to tuck this thing in, uh, secure it with some double stick tape. There's still room for the cover to be put on. Um, and I met, located it here on the, you know, on the passenger side. So I had a, a little bit more distance to burn up some of this uh, wire harness. I still have a little loop I have to deal with here, but not too bad. Uh, make sure you don't use any mechanical fasteners and screw into this because there is a coil back here. And if you damage that coil, you will no longer have an air conditioner or heat pump. I did consider putting it back here, but again, secure for reasons related to securing the, the soft starter itself, I figured it was best up there. Again, we just didn't want to screw into this and I didn't want to rely on double stick tape. We're dealing with extreme ranges of temperature up here being a on a rooftop and it generates heat or i guess cooling if you're running it in heat pump mode um you know the sun's beating on it you might be driving into freezing temperatures whatever that tape could fail and that soft starter might fall down in here and obstruct your fan so i thought it best just to locate it up there it's secure and also the harness was best coming in through the front of of the unit here so rather than try to loop that harness all over the place. I figured that was the easiest way to locate that. In any case, I hope this was helpful. If you're facing a similar project, uh, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Take it easy.